and government of the island and Army General Raul Castro, President Miguel Diaz Canel congratulated Nicaraguans on the victory of Daniel Ortega in the last November's election. The president told the press that he was very happy to arrive in Nicaraguan soil, a sister country and a friendly country. Referring to the electoral victory of the Sandinista Fund, the Cuban leader asserted so This that is uh, Radio Havana, Cuba on 6,000 kilohertz, the usual North American uh, service, basically. Um, lately, they've been having much better audio. I don't know if they've been working on trying to make this better. Tonight sounds good. Um, they have this format of a two-hour broadcast. They used to have like a, a one-hour that would repeat all evening. Now it's like a two-hour block. even contains weather, which is kind of weird because you can hear maybe the weather in New York or in Montreal here or whatever. It's just so weird. Um, so this is the Ethan Elite Field uh, BT radio. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, tuning around with it tonight on shortwave. I also uh, took out two radios that I haven't used in a while that are pretty much the same thing almost. The uh, County Com GP7 SSB. We're also going to play around with the uh, Tixon PL368 actually tuning the same signal, see if we see any differences. I don't think there's going to be, but, uh, you know, playing around with uh, some radios tonight as the uh, snowstorm has pretty much ended. We had uh, more than a foot of snow on the ground today with some really big winds. It was uh, kind of a interesting storm day and uh, kind of uh, radio and work from home. That's perfect for a winter uh, storm day in uh, Montreal. So, uh, Radio Havana, Cuba, on the Elite, the Ethan Elite Field BT Radio. I put the narrow filter here. This is, this is honestly a way too narrow filter for the radio shortwave listening. What I do, I, what I prefer doing is take the treble and turn it down instead. One another observation about the Ethan Elite Field BT is that this S meter is kind of useless. It is very interesting because in the instruction manual they say that the RF gain should be around 5 and kept at 5 which is very odd when you think about it that they would tell you to just put the uh, RF gain midway but I guess that's the way they want you to use it. Um, so I've been trying it out halfway to see if uh, you know there's not much of a difference except that the S meter does move a little more but don't look at that indicator it's really not very good like a lot if not most portable receivers anyway the s meter is not very accurate interesting to see some uh, deep fades of radio van cuba tonight see if i can uh, get a better signal from here you see here it's plugged in. If I remove the plug, there's no difference in noise level. In fact, the plug seems to even help maybe bring in a little more signal. It's interesting to see that there's a fade out of Radio Van AQ, but it doesn't happen often. Usually when it's strong, it stays strong here. So more to come on this radio and the, the uh, County Com GP7 SSB and all of that. We'll be looking at that tonight, playing around, doing some ETM scans and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you.